don't underestimate the power of time when it comes to your investments over the long run. If you're 18, 19, you're just entering the workforce, you might have finished university, and you're wondering about whether you should be contributing to your superannuation fund, this is the one for you. So thank you for tuning in. I'm Jared Brown, Australian expat financial planner here in Singapore. Today, we're having a look at what a difference it can make by making some small superannuation contributions for just three years when you enter the workforce. So let's dive into the numbers and have a look at what a difference you can make. Now, in this example, we're looking at just contributing for three years only from the age of 18. So contributing from 18 until 21 and then contributing nothing further to see what a difference these contributions could make by the time you retire at age 65. So we're assuming that it's in an average growth superannuation fund and that you're not doing a great deal else with it. Now, if we put just $10 per week into our super fund as a non-concessional contribution, so after-tax money going into our super, we have about an extra $52,000. Now, if we double that and go with $20 a week, so going from 10 to 20, we now have about 104,000 in addition inside our super. Now, if we take that a bit further and we go to $50 a week, now, yes, it's getting a little more expensive. We might have to give up a few more things. We might have to bring our lunch to work. But if we do that $50 every week, by the time you hit 65, we've got an extra $260,000. And if we go all the way to $100 a week, so maybe giving up a Friday night out or maybe giving up a Saturday dinner or catching up with friends on a Sunday, that will give us an additional $520,000. Now, if we look at what that could generate in terms of income, how much is $500,000 really worth? Well, that $500,000 could be generating us twenty dollars or $25,000 every single year when we retire. So don't underestimate the power of long-term returns, of compound returns over time, and what a difference those small, seemingly insignificant contributions could actually make in the long run. If you have any questions about your super, what you should be doing, if your kids are entering the workforce, make sure you run the numbers. Don't underestimate the power of those small figures, small savings going in on a regular basis.